so this is an audiobook that I created with 11 Labs. And as you can see, I can use my own voice to narrate this whole story. So in this tutorial, I'll show you how you can use this tool to create your own audiobook and a few things that you need to know when you are using this tool. So here's how you can get started. First, let's navigate to 11labs.io and log in with your own account. Now here, I'll try to create a clone of my own voice. So I'm, I'm going to navigate to the voice menu and then click create or clone a voice. Select instant voice clone. And here you can either provide your own voice from a file or you can, you can just record an audio example right here, right now. In this case, I'm going to just upload my own audio file. And after that, just click next. And after that, you need to add some label or description and of course the name of that voice. In this case, I'm going to call it my voice for narration. And I'm going to select the language to be English. And the label is really optional. You can add some labels like the gender, accent, etc. But it is optional. Uh, the most important thing that you need to do is add a name, select the language, and then confirm this option and just click save voice. And there you go. Now I'm going to close this. Let's navigate to studio and then open create an audiobook. So I'm going to upload a document that I want to turn into an audiobook. This is the document. Let me just click file, click download and select PDF. Okay, let's go back to 11 Labs again. I'm going to just drag and drop the document right here. And for the voice, I'll select my own voice, which is the one that I just cloned earlier. And I do recommend to enable auto assign voices. This is a feature that will assign a voice, a unique voice for every character found in the story. You can disable it, but I think it's better to actually have that feature. Anyway, click create and just wait for 11 Labs to prepare the document. It hasn't started creating the audiobook it is only creating or putting the document into the audiobook but there is no audio created at all so just wait and after that we can open it and start creating the audiobook based on the document and also the voices that we selected so this will take just a few more seconds and i should be able to open this document right now so i'm going to open it and you'll see something that look like this now I'm going to click this play button to start creating the first iteration of the audiobook. So let me click the play button. And it will start creating the audiobook. And this, the this might take quite some time depending on the length of the document. So uh, depending on uh, how big your document is, it might take several minutes. But for me, it's very fast because the document is very short. So let's take a listen to the first iteration of the audiobook. Echoes of the Grove. The scent of pine and damp earth was the first thing Kale knew. He opened his eyes to a ceiling of dense green leaves. He sat up, his head pounding. Hello? He called out, his voice a rough, unused thing. The silence that answered was absolute. Is anyone there? All right, as you can see, each character is actually color-coded, so it is distinguishable from the narrator and other characters, which is very helpful when working with the document. Now. On the right side, you can see that there is the voices settings. So for example, for the narrator, I can select different settings, like I can adjust the volume, the speed, stability, etc. This is the typical stuff that you could find when you're using the text-to-speech tool. And also, if I don't want to use, let's say, uh, this voice, I can select different voice for that character. So let me just, uh, let's say, select the character first, which is Kyle, and I can change it to somebody else. So let's try uh let's say a different voice let's try maybe uh henry i don't know let's try that and there you go so for that section i'm using a different character so that's something that you can do of course that's not the best idea but yeah that's a possibility that you can try now let me just undo and now uh let me show you a few things that you need to know so right here you can add a chapter and it's very useful if you want to make the document to be more organized so that was the chapter zero and you can add another chapter chapter two three four etc and here you can also regenerate the section that you don't feel right for example if you don't like the way the narrator read the title you can click you can select the text first and then click regenerate and now it's going to give you a slightly different version of that audio or of that voices the there you go so that's another the version 
now uh, you can also add some heading that is heading one two three that is also this is the generation history if you want to see what are the other version of the voice you can actually go back and see or review the one that you might have created in the past and here you can also see the undo and redo button i think you are quite familiar with that functions and this is insert break it is basically just a pause so let's say i want to add a pause right here in the middle i'm going to click this insert break so basically i can add up to three seconds of pause or delay so when the character is reading this section you'll notice that there's going to be another sub delay in this section let me just play the audio select the audio first and i'm going to play it it needs to be regen regenerated and just the wait. The scent of pine and damp earth was the first thing Kale knew. He opened his eyes to a ceiling of dense green leaves. He yeah, there is a, a noticeable delay in that section, which is exactly the function of break or a pause. And the, you can also add a sound effect. Yeah, that's another feature. Like you can insert a sound effect. Like uh, you can specify. You can specify it. Let's say I'm going to add. A sound effect of let's say a wolf howling is it the correct way to pronounce howling let me double check oh howling sorry about that howling <laughs> sorry about that a wolf howling in the distance and let's generate preview Alright, it takes a bit longer than I expected. Okay, so let me just preview. Let's try this one. Let's click apply and that sound effect is added into that section. So there's also insert video. I think that's quite straightforward. You can insert video into the audiobook, even though it is audio content, but hey, you can actually insert video. And you can also insert audio. So this is very useful if you have, let's say, a background music that you want to add into the audiobook. That's something that you can definitely do. And it will actually make the audiobook to be a bit more interesting to listen to a bit more engaging and for some people it is much more enjoyable than just a simple narration so again that's a feature that you can try and by the way the position of your cursor is very important because now this audio start around when i click uh, i select the uh, area which is this section but if you put it the cursor in the, in the beginning then the audio book will be added sorry the audio will be added at the beginning so your position of the the, the, cursor of, the position of the cursor is very very important now let's uh, move on this is our audio this is intermedia this is actually uh let's say a shortcut to access other features from 11 labs like there is a text to speech tool there is voice changer there is also sound effect which is the one that we just covered before and there's also music but it's error for some reason it's not ready probably and also you can add your own custom pronunciation now honestly i never used the custom pronunciation in 11 labs so i'm not quite familiar with this tool but if there's any name or location that uh, you that ai is not able to pronounce correctly then you can fix that using this custom tool and also you can add your own pronunciation so the way you use it is very simple you just need to select the text and let's say click uh, you can click this and now you can read this text and then you can do your own narration so you can insert a custom human voice if you want to and let's move on to another feature which is this feature to lock the paragraph just to be sure that you're not accidentally changing anything in that section or a document and you can also send a feedback you can select the text and if you feel like the text is not feeling right you can send a feedback to help us to improve the section that you have a problem with and i guess that's everything that you need to know of course i'm just covering the basic here there are uh, many ways you can make the tools to be even more useful but that's a basic and when you're done you can click export and you can select the format and just click export so th this will start rendering the file uh, turning it into an audiobook and there is going to be the download button right here in this area then you can click it and then you can get the, the audiobook as an mp3 or the .wav file which later you could upload for to other stuff to other to some platform out there so i guess that's basically how you can use the 
audiobook feature from 11th House. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you around.